Oh, I just love those slices of pork on the top of ramen noodles and it's super easy to make at home. I've got a really great technique to show you guys and don't just think about it as a ramen noodle topping. You can eat this pork with rice, uh, with salad, anything. It's just super delicious. Okay, so let's start off with the pork belly. Uh, now I have a beautiful piece of pork belly here and when I'm buying pork belly I always try to find a piece that doesn't have too much fat. Uh, so you can see this is really nice. We've just got a little bit of a layer of fat there. What we want to do is roll this up really tight. So just push that together. Now to keep our pork in that really nice tight cylindrical shape we want to get some string and I've got a really great technique, a really easy one uh, for trussing any kind of meat or a, a, even if it's a roast or anything like that. So put your string down uh, onto your board just like this and then you want to put your pork on top and just try and get that piece of string just so it comes into the center of that top of the pork and then bring the bottom part through and then open that out and just tighten it a little bit and then take your finger put it down where you want to make your next sort of string so just keep a hold of the string in your left hand uh, and just keep everything nice and tight and then put your finger down where you want to make your next wrap with the string and then wrap that string around pull it through at the top and there you go and you just continue on like that and this way means that when you go to cut the string off at the end you literally just make one cut and it all falls off much easier okay now the other side and then once you get to the end just wrap the string around turn the pork over and tie it up at the bottom so I'm just gonna cut the excess off there Okay, so our pork is ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm just going to get it started in the pan just to get a little bit of that pork fat and some flavor going. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Now, I don't need this to be too hot. Uh, I'm just going to wait for it to kind of heat up and I'll just keep turning the pork every so often just until we get a nice sort of little bit of color on the outside. So while that pork is doing its thing, I'll mix up our little braising liquid and start off with some soy sauce and some mirin. So this is a sweet Japanese cooking wine. You can find it in the Asian section of most supermarkets now. And then I want some sake as well. So this is not as sweet as the mirin, but it does add a beautiful flavor to our braising liquid. Now some sugar and some water. Just a little bit of water to get it started and mix that through. Now once you can see some color here on that pork, we're ready to add in that liquid. Make sure we get everything out of the bowl. And just some extra aromatics. I want some garlic. Just crushing those to release their flavors. And some ginger. And now I'm gonna add some water. So this really depends on the size of your pot that you're using, but you want the liquid to come up at least halfway up the side of the pork. Okay, now there are a couple of different ways you can handle the cooking part of the pork. Traditionally, this would be slowly simmered on the stovetop for a few hours until beautifully tender. You can do it that way. I find there's so much attention required with that though because you have to make sure it's not over boiling, over cooking. So what I like to do is put a lid on and then put it into the oven, really low temperature uh, for about three hours. Make sure you're turning that pork over every half an hour or so. So let's have a look at what we've got. Now just take a look at that amazing pork. Ah, oh, so beautiful and shiny. And then have a look at that cross section. We've got a really lovely spiral pattern there. Amazing. Now we're going to have to be even a little bit more patient before we dig into this because the whole point about having that beautiful spiral is we want to make sure that it stays there when we slice the pork. So to do that we've got to get it really cold. So I'm just going to transfer it out of our roasting dish into a bowl and then ladle that braising liquid over the top. And you just want to put that into your fridge overnight. That'll let the pork firm up and set before you slice it. 
So I've been patiently dreaming about my pork overnight and this is what we've ended up with. So you can see we've got quite a thick layer of fat, which is great that it's solidified because it's gonna be really easy to take off. Let's grab my spoons and just scoop off the fat. Big large chunks is always good just to get it all off there. Just scrape a little bit of that off the side. Now see this liquid here? This stuff is liquid gold. You can do so many things with it, season a ramen broth with it, or you could reduce it down until it's really thick and just drizzle your pork with it. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, so don't throw that away. Now the pork itself, just wanna lift that out of my bowl and onto the chopping board. And we just wanna remove that string. So just a cut here, just unravel that. Okay and just pull that string up. So when you go to serve your pork, you wanna slice it up and then pan fry it so we get a nice kind of caramelized edge on our pork. So I'm just gonna cut some thin slices. This is the way I would cut it if I was gonna be using it for ramen noodle soup. First slice is always a bit thicker. Uh, make it these ones a little bit smaller. And look at that beautiful swirl pattern. So much porky goodness, so exciting. Now you just want the smallest amount of oil to get that pork sizzling. Just swirl that. And in goes our pork. So the pork is obviously already cooked. What we're doing here is just warming it through and just trying to get a few little caramelized chari spots on those slices. Okay, flip that over. Oh, doesn't that just look heavenly? Okay, and there we go. So soft, gotta be really gentle with that pork. So there you go guys, beautiful, soft, tender Japanese char siu pork ready for any bowl of ramen noodles or even just a bowl of rice. Yum! If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.